I just got the order from my wife to design and 3D print some unique toy for sandbox for her. So she don't know yet, but uh, I'll design and 3D print a I toy from our faces. And I'm curious, will she recognize us? The hardware I'm using is Xbox Kinect, but it cannot be plugged in directly to the laptop, so you need adapter for PC. But uh, USB connection goes only after uh, power connection, so... My wife helped me with the scanning of my face. Her face already scanned in my previous video where I was designing this custom mask from her scanned face. And I'm using a scanner, the free version. The biggest problem with this version it is limited to the 5000 polygons. Here on their website you can find the hardware requirements, uh, information about the software and the drivers and of course the GPU. After scanning the scanner, so here you can see this line is the path of the scanner. And I'm very happy with this scanned image. And look at those details on my t-shirt. But the pro problem that uh, we are limited to the 5000 polygons. Currently this, uh, this object has more than 100,000 polygons, so I have to crop everything what I don't need. So after this cropping, I reduced to 56,000 the polygons. So I have to crop more. And when I am close to the 15,000, then I can export the STL unit scales in millimeters. Because in this case, the reduction of the quality will not be so noticeable. Same I had to do with my wife scanning. So I have to crop everything what I'm sure that I don't need for the final object. And again I'm cropping until I get around 15,000 polygons. In that case the exporting will not be so bad. The quality loss will be not so noticeable. Now the mesh mixer. Uh, the order of the operations is very important. So first I have to get rid of these holes. Uh, the analyzers, inspector, and here when I click on these small spheres, the, those holes will be quick, uh, automatically repaired. Or I can just click here to automatic repair all. Then I am using this uh, brush to smooth the surface, because this will be a sandbox toy, so I need smooth surface to easier take off from the sand the final object then I'm using a plane cut and very important the fill type uh, select to the no fill because in that case this will left open so now I have this surface for the mask. Okay, next was the transformation tool. I am scaling it down to the 50%. I can do it with the mouse, but it's much more accurate if I do it with the number. So 0 0.5 means 50% of the original scale. I'm just rotating here to have a vertical object. And now it is ready for extruding. So Ctrl A, select all. And now let's extrude it, of course, in the proper direction inside of the object I need with the correct scale. So, and I'm using 1.8 millimeter offset size and very important direction set to normal to get constant thickness of the surface of the object. And now it is ready for the export. Similar operations with a little bit difference uh, here with the, my wife's uh, scanned object. Again, first repair the tool with the Analysis Inspector tool. And then here, uh, next operation was the plane cut. 
and of course again don't forget fear type select no fear so it is open now this object and of course the transformation moving to the working area and of course uh, downscale to the exactly 50% And then I notice here some area polygons, which I don't want. So I have to remove these uh, polygons here inside the object. Again, back to Analyzes Inspector tool. And by clicking on these small spheres, they will be removed. If not, then the, the, you have to fix the small trash size and then uh, it will be removed. looks good now it's ready for the extruding select all extrude again offset size is 0 uh, 1.8 millimeters and of course the direction is normal to get constant thickness of the object and also this is now ready for the export now the slicer let's start with the uh, my face uh, first the settings of course i have to enable the supports and in previous settings i set the maximal overhang angle to the 60 degrees and uh, parameters to free so i wanted to print in this position uh, now you can see those supports are uh, in contact with the surface which i need for sandbox toy so i rotate it now and now supports are outside but what i don't like with this version a lot of near horizontal surfaces which doesn't look good when it's still printed my next experiment was to trim it in vertical position but the problem with this is that i don't like these uh, supports inside so i rotated it uh, a little bit and now this is what i Need. So supports are only outside and this is the print preview. And now this is my wife mess. So here I also started with the vertical position, but again, I get those supports inside of the object. So I rotate it a little bit and now all supports are now only from the outside. I couldn't get rid of from these supports on her eyes, but that's fine. Uh, important is that I don't, I don't have supports inside. Now let's see, see the 3D printing process. As you can see, uh, it took me a little bit more than five hours and more than 10, meter, 10 meters of filament. Removing also the supports was very easy. I don't needed any tools for this. Of course, the contact surface is a little bit ugly, but inside I'm very happy with the quality of that surface. The second object was printed a little bit longer because of those supports on the eyes. But again, it was very easy to remove those supports. Without any tool. And again, a very nice surface from the inside. Looks very promising. And it's time for the final test. Koito, kira koito. A koito. A koito. Mama. Mama. Yes. <laughs> she recognizes us. <laughs> oh, my nose. I'm not sure was, was this useful or interesting, but uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.